Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, distinguished guests, very serious, nice ladies and gentlemen. At the moment, the ambulances conveying the remains of our fellow heroes have just brought the remains of the fallen heroes and they are now being retrieved for the commencement of this uh, solemn event shortly. Staff. Of course, the two ministers of defense, Muhammad Badaru and Bilu Matawali. Lieutenant Colonel A.H. E. Ali was the commanding officer that led these 17 officers to the village who were brutally murdered that day. Other officers whose corpse you have seen arriving are Major Daniel Ekwa Obi, Major Saliu Danjima Shafa, Captain Usman Zakari, Staff Sergeant Yahaya Seidu, Corporal Dambaba Yahaya, Corporal Kabiru Bashir. Lance Corporal Bulos Haruna, Lance Corporal Suli Opeyani, Lance Corporal Abdullahi Ibrahim, Lance Corporal Bilu Anas, Private Alhaji Isa, Private Harman Peter, Private Clement Francis, Private
Private Abubakar Ali, Private Adamu Ibrahim, and Private Ibrahim Jaji. These are the 17 officers and men of the Nigerian army killed at the Okwama village. The corpse are being brought into the cemetery to be laid to rest. Later on, the commander-in-chief will lead other dignitaries for the laying of wreath after the lowering of the caskets. Also, the national flags will be presented to members of their families. There will also be firing of volleys as gun salutes in memory of these departed soldiers. The Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Bala Ahmed Tinubu, is expected to make a speech. Also, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tawrid Labaja, would also make a speech. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, is expected as well to make a speech. The Governors of Bayelsa, Delta, Kwara, Imo, Kogi are present at this event. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, PhD, and the Deputy Senate President are also present at this occasion. Lieutenant Colonel A.H. Ali, who was the commanding officer of the 181 Amphibious Battalion Nigerian Army, who led those soldiers, was born on the 18th of May 1975 in Kano State. Of course, the governor of Kano State is also present at this occasion in his memory. He hails from Fage local government area of Kano State. He attended the Kuka Special Primary School in Fage, where he obtained his first living certificate. Thereafter, he proceeded to Government Senior Grammar School, Oazo, where he obtained his West African Secondary School Certificate. He then attended the College of Arts and Remedial Studies, Kano, before proceeding to Usman Danfudu University, Sokoto, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Political Science. The late senior officer enlisted in the Nigerian Army on the 2nd of October, 1996, and was later granted Short Service Combatant Commission on the 17th of December, 2000 and five as a member of the Social Service Course 34 and the rank of second lieutenant. He converted to regular competence commission effective from the 24th of November 2010. He was an infantry corps and rose to the rank of lieutenant colonel on the 17th of November 2020. There you see his corpse leading all other officers who were in that unfaithful incident in Okwama village of Delta State. The bodies will be brought forward to where they're going to be laid to Mother Earth in just a moment. They have been carried by their comrades, their fellow officers, and you can see the flag of Nigeria on all the caskets to be laid as a mark of respect and to honor their service to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. 
guests of Orosa, distinguished guests, very senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. As a mark of honor, we are pleased requested all to rise as the burial party and the pile bearer marches to the graveside. Officers and warrant officers, in uniform march of salute. Thank you. Thank you. 
Guests of honor, so very senior officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Next on the program is faith service. May I request the clergy for the faith service to officiate this aspect of the solemn events? May I invite Deputy Director Chaplain Roman Catholic Army Headquarters Garrison Colonel M. A. Dogo to commence the faith service. The clergy, please. Please may rise as we commence the faith service. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, with faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the bodies of our brothers, our fallen heroes, to be buried in their human imperfection. We pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that He will raise up these mortal bodies to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give them a merciful judgment and forgive all their sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead them safely home to be at peace with God the Father. And may they be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Father, into your hands we commend our brothers and sisters of our brothers who died in defense of this nation. We are confident that all who have died in Christ, they will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. 
We thank you for all the blessings you gave them in this life, the sacrifices they offered for the nation and humanity, to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome them into paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith. May grant consolation and comfort to members of their families, to the President and Commander-in-Chief, the Service Chiefs, members of Armed Forces, particularly the Chief of Army Staff and the Nigerian Army family, to be with you and with our brothers who have died forever in your kingdom. May the angels lead them into paradise, and may the martyrs welcome them to you, and take them to heaven. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Next is the Deputy Director, Chaplain Services Protestant, Army Headquarters Garrison, Lieutenant Colonel BPM. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our brothers. We thank you for giving them to us as families, friends, and colleagues to know, to love, and to have companion with one another while they pilgrimage here on earth. Now that you've called them to rest with you at your bosom, let your arm of compassion, your arms of boundless love, console them in their place of rest and send comfort to us who are here on earth. We pray for the nation, O oh Lord, that at this moment of our grief, you alone will be our solace. We pray for the leadership of the country, the president and members of the executive, the members of the legislative arm of governance, and the members of the judicial arm of government. The Lord, you will guide them to lead our nation to the path of peace. We pray that your wrath of judgment will cut up with those who are involved in such an evil act. We pray for the immediate family members of those who are lost their beloved ones, that you comfort them. We pray for those who have come from a distance, that you grant joy and mercy after this burial to their destinations. We ask, O oh Lord, that your presence will not depart from us as we commit their souls into your hands for rest. These we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And finally, Deputy Director Islamic Affairs, Army Headquarters Garrison, Lieutenant Colonel Emir Abbas. Salu ala Nabi al Karim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad. Kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim inna kahamid al Majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim inna kahamid al Majid. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وذكرنا وأنثانا وقادرنا وقائبنا اللهم من أحييته منا فهي على الإسلام ومن تم ومن تمته فمته على الإيمان لمنك وجود وجودك وكرمك يا اكرم الاكرمين يا رب العالمين يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اللهم اغفر لاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان اللهم اغفر لاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا قلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم 
وعافهم واعف عنهم واكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم واغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والقطايا كما ينقى الثوب الابيض من الدنس اللهم لا تفتينا بعدهم ولا تحرمنا اجرهم اللهم ان كانوا محسنين فزد في احسانهم وان كانوا مسعين فتجاوز عن سيئاتهم اللهم ابدل لهم دارا خيرا من دارهم واهلا خيرا من اهلهم وزوجا خيرا من زوجهم اللهم ادخلهم الجنه اللهم ادخلهم الجنه وقهم من عذاب النار ومن عذاب القبر اللهم جازهم بالحسنات احسانا وبالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا بمنك وجودك وكرمك يا اكرم الاكرمين يا رب العالمين يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اللهم اغفر لاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا قلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم اللهم اغفر لاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا قلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم ربنا اغفر لنا ولاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا قلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم اللهم اغفر لهم اللهم اغفر لهم بمنك وجودك وكرمك يا اكرم الاكرمين يا رب العالمين يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اللهم امنا في اوطاننا واصلح امتنا وولاة امورنا اللهم ول امورنا قيارنا ولا تول امورنا شرارنا واجعل ولايتنا في من خافك واتقاك واتبع رضاك يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, very senior officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Next on the program is the last post. May I crave the indulgence that we please remain standing as we observe the last post. The last post signifies the final farewell to our departed colleague as a mark of honor and respect to the deceased officers and warrant officers in uniform are to salute for the last post. The firing party commander.
Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, up next is remarks by the Chief Host, the Chief of Army Staff. May I humbly invite the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.A. Lagwaja, for his remarks. The Chief of Army Staff, sir. Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. The President of the Senate, distinguished Senator. God's will, Akpabio, ably represented. The Speaker, House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas. Other members of the National Assembly here present. Your Excellencies, the Executive Governors, of Bayesa, Delta, Kano, Imo, Kwara, and Kogi states, Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, Special Advisors, and other members of the Federal Executive Council, the Chief of Defense Staff, service chiefs, heads of other security agencies here are present, your royal NSCs, traditional rulers they are present, the president, defense and police officers wives association, and the president, Nigerian Army Officers Wives Association, members of the various military spousal associations they are present, distinguished senior officers, both serving and retired, families, friends, and associates of our diseased heroes, invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to start my remarks by thanking Mr. President and everyone there for honoring the memory of our departed officers and men with your esteemed presence this afternoon. Ordinarily, this burial ceremony should not be a speech-making occasion but you will agree with me that it will be insensitive of us and disrespectful to the memory and legacy of the gallant men who have come to bury, not to make speeches, no matter how brief. As the Chief of Army Staff, I consider putting fine men and women in arms way 
sometimes knowing that they may not return to their families and loved ones. My toughest job. Correspondingly and intriguingly, my men know that when I send them out, despite the equipment, training, and other forms of preparation, sometimes some may not make it back alive, while some may return handicapped and invalid. Ours is a profession that deals with matters of life and death. When soldiers die in the hands of the enemies of the state, we take it as dying for what the nation has considered a just cause. We celebrate them as gallant heroes. But when they are gruesomely murdered by the very people they are trained, equipped, and took an oath to protect, it is highly demoralizing. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we who have come to bury were murdered in a reprehensible manner on the 14th of March this year in Okuama community in Delta State, where they went on a legitimate peacemaking mission. It grieves my heart that it took our search and recovery effort over 72 hours to recover some vital organs of the decapitated and disemboweled bodies of my men that were scattered all over the Okuama community by the community youths and their friends. I consider it the most barbaric act any citizen or community can commit against the authority of the state. And I must place on record that a lot of restraints have been exercised so far in our search and recovery efforts for missing arms, ammunition, other equipment, and body parts. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Okuma killing has added to the care of the Nigerian army and by extension, the Nigerian state, 10 widows, three of whom are four, five, and eight months pregnant, 21 orphans, and many other dependents which include parents. While commiserating with the families of these gallant soldiers, I assure them that the Nigerian army and the good people of this country will not leave them in the cold. We shall do all within our power to provide succor to them and preserve the memories of their departure. soldiers to murder it. I wish to thank His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Inumbu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, the leadership and members of the National Assembly, members of the Federal Executive Council, Executive Governors, particularly of Delta and Bayesa State, as well as all many and patriotic Nigerians for their support and encouragement to the families and loved ones of our, our murdered personnel on one side and the Nigerian army and indeed the armed forces of Nigeria on the other in this difficult time. Your condolence messages have been most comforting and reassuring to the Nigerian army. I assure Mr. President and all Nigerians that the Nigerian army remains committed to its constitutional responsibilities and will not be deterred by setbacks such as witness in Okwama community. As taxed by Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of our Armed Forces, the Nigerian Army 
with the assistance of his sister services and other security agencies, is committed to bringing the perpetrators of the Okwama murder to book and recover all service and personal belongings taken from the murder troops. The Nigerian Army will continue to seek the cooperation of all women in Nigerians, particularly in the affected areas, toward swift and successful conduct of our search and recovery of prisons. Once again, I thank you all for coming to identify with the Nigerian Army. God bless you all. Special guest of honor, very senior sons, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. That was remarks, rather, that was a remarks by the Chief of Army, of Oblax, his remarks by the Chief of Defense Staff. May I respectfully invite the Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa, for his remarks. The Chief of Defense Staff, sir. His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, now, Amenu President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Senate President, Distinguished Senator Godzul Akabio, ably represented by Senator Barao Jibrin, CON, the Speaker, the student members, please permit me to stand on the already established protocols. Being today, Another sorrowful day where we come to mourn together with the families of our deceased colleagues who died in the line of duty. Today we gather here with heavy hearts and tear-filled eyes to bid farewell to our fallen heroes, the brave men of the armed forces of Nigeria who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation. We stand here in honor of their courage, dedication, and unwavering commitment to duty. Their lives were abruptly taken from us in the line of duty while on a peace mission at Okoma Community in Delta State on 14 March 2023. We are gathered here not only to mourn their loss but also to celebrate their lives and extraordinary contribution to our beloved nation. We are gathered here today not only as grieving family members, friends, and colleagues, but also as a nation united in sorrow. These fallen heroes exemplify the very best of service to a nation and the love for country. They were the vanguards of peace, the guardians of our freedom, and the sentinels of our security. Their selflessness and unwavering dedication to duty will forever be etched in the house and our memories. To the beloved families who have lost their loved ones, we extend our deepest condolences. We are in this together. We cannot begin to fathom the pain and sorrow that you are experiencing. Please know that you are not alone in our grief. As the entire nation, as exemplified by the President and Commander-in-Chief, and the armed forces mourn you with and stand ready to support you in every way possible. We recognize that no words can ease your pain, but we hope that you find solace in the knowledge that your loved ones made an indelible mark on our nation's history. To our fallen heroes, we say thank you. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to duty, your sacrifices, and your love for our nation. You serve bravely, and your courage will never be forget, forget, forgotten. We will honor your memory by continuing the fight against those who seek to undermine our peace and security. We will remain steadfast in our resolve to build a nation worthy of your sacrifice. This sacrifice will not go in vain. The loss we feel today is immeasurable, but we must not allow it to dim the light of our renewed hope 
within us. Instead, let us use this moment as a rallying cry to come together as a nation to support our armed forces and to work tirelessly towards a Nigeria free from the grip of violence and insecurity. We owe it to these fallen heroes to honor their memory by redoubling our efforts to create a safer and more prosperous nation for all. Let us build a nation where every citizen can live without fear, where communities can thrive, and where our children can grow up knowing the true meaning of security and stability. To the men and women who continue to serve in the armed forces, I want to express my deepest gratitude for your dedication to duty. Your commitment to defending our nation, even in the face of great peril, is truly commendable. You carry the torch that our fallen heroes have passed on, and we stand by your side as you confront the challenges that lie ahead. Indeed, the world is a dangerous place. We together, working together hand in hand, will make Nigeria better, and indeed, the entire nation. To the perpetrators of this violence who seek to sow division and fear among our people, take this from me. Our resolve will not wither. We will hunt you down, we will bring you to justice, and we will restore peace and security to every nook and cranny of our dear nation. Your evil actions may cause pain and suffering, but they will never extinguish the spirit of unity and resilience that burns within us. Whoever is supporting them, either directly or indirectly, in every way, be rest assured, we will get them, we will smoke them out wherever they are, and those who are offering them any support will face the music. That we guarantee. Finally, let us once again pay tribute to the men and women who have given their lives in the service of our nation. May their souls find eternal rest, and may their families find comfort in the knowledge that their loved ones are heroes, forever remembered and cherished. As we bid them farewell, let us pledge to carry their legacy forward, to walk towards a Nigeria that is peaceful, prosperous, and secure. Once again, I want to thank His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief, for taking time out to be with us, and all members of the Cabinet, and everyone that has been here, to reassure you that the armed forces remain focused, committed, in ensuring that we guarantee peace and security in our dear country, Nigeria. May God bless our fallen heroes, their families, and our great nation, Nigeria. Thank you, and God bless you. That was a remarks by the Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa. Next on the program is remarks by the Special Guest of Honor, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. May I, at this point, most respectfully invite the Special Guest of Honor, once the podium is set, to make his remarks. Your Excellency, Mr. President. Sir. Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, the Deputy Senate President, Senator Barao Jibril, representing the Senate President, the former Senate President. Lawa, 
Your Excellencies, Governors of Baeza, Delta, and Kano States. Honorable Ministers, Special Advisors, other members of the Federal Executive Council, Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, Service Chiefs and Head of other security agencies here present. The President and members of Military Sponsor Association here present. Distinguished senior officers, both serving and retired. Family, friends, and associates of our deceased heroes. Invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It is with every heart that I join you today to commend to us the remains of our officers and men who died in the course of duty on 14th of March this year, 2024, in Okwema community in Delta State. The officers and soldiers who lost their lives that day were patriots, brave, and noble men who gave their lives to defend and protect our nation against internal and external threats. Their sacrifice will be remembered and honored for generations to come. On March 14th, Lebanon Corner H. A. H. Ali, the commanding officer of 181 Amphibious Battalion, led three other officers and 30 soldiers to Okwema community to mediate in lingering disputes with Okoloba community. They went on as peacekeepers and peacemakers, respectively, seeking to bring an end to the hostility between the two communities. They didn't go with tanks, machine guns, and other weapons. They were on a mission of peace. Before the dastardly attack, Ebna Kone Ali as a known to be briefed by the Chief of Army Staff, enjoyed great operational exploits, fighting terrorists and insurgents in the northeast and northwest before his deployment to the Niger Delta. Ali kept faith with his military calling till the end on behalf of a grateful nation. We honor the sacrifice of Ali and the other gallant patriots who died that day. They will forever be remembered as heroes who answer the call of duty and paid the ultimate price. Major D. E. O. B. Major S. D. Ashafa, Captain U. Sakari, Staff Sergeant Yaya Seidu, 
Kopra Dambaba Ya Ya Kopra Kabiba Shu Last Kopra Abdullah Ibrahim Last Kopra Bulus Aruna Last Kopra So Sole of Miami Last Kopra Belo Anas Alaji Private Alaji Isa Private Clement Francis Private Abubakar Ali Private Adamu Ibrahim Private Haman Peter and Private Ibrahim Adamu You are all our heroes Each man now belongs to the hallowed list of service men and women who defended our country and protected their fellow Nigerians, not minding the risk to their own lives. They have all been awarded now. A posthumous national honor. The four gallant officers have been accorded the award of members of the Order of Niger, M-O-N. The 13 courageous soldiers who also lost their lives have been awarded the officers of the Federal Republic Medal. commiserate with the families of our fallen heroes and the entire armed forces. I share in their pain and grief, the grief you carry today. It is my prayer that God will comfort all who are bereaved as a result of this tragedy. It is worth restating the depth of gratitude we hold these million soldiers and families. As Commander-in-Chief, I do not take the contribution of members of our armed forces for granted. I recognize your valor and bravery. I honor your unflinching commitment to making our country safe from criminals, bandits, kidnappers, and insurrectionists. While we continue to grieve for the courageous men we lost that day, let us also, on this solemn occasion, be reminded of the unfinished business of working for peace and harmony in our communities. We must begin to rebuild our communities and make them into places where love, tolerance, harmony we reign. Leaders at all levels, especially community leaders and traditional rulers must work to strengthen the bonds that unite us. We must end the cycle of violence and bloodletting. I want to make it clear once more that those who committed this heinous crime will not go unpunished. We, we find them departed heroes we get justice the elders and chiefs of Okoma also have a duty to help the military in fishing out the government who committed the barbaric crime against our men I wish also to commend our armed forces for their restraint in choosing not to carry out a reprisal attack in Okoma or 
its neighboring communities. We must all ensure that the innocent people of the communities are not made to be to bear the punishment of the guilt and wicked among them. To the entire armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I have this message for you. Do not let the death of your compatriots discourage you. There is no higher honor than the vocation you have chosen to pursue. We cherish you, we cherish your labor and labor of love. We salute, salute your daily sacrifice in protecting your fellow citizens from danger. We have acknowledged your sacrifices to defend our country. Within our continent, our subregion and across the world, the Nigeria military has remained a force for good, embodying a great example and keeping our democracy safe. It is now our duty to protect the families of our departed heroes. The federal government will provide housing in any part of our country to each of the families of the four officers and 13 soldiers that were among them. The federal government has also approved scholarship to all children of the disease up to university level. Including those who are in the womb. The military we appeal to you to within the next 90 days to ensure that all benefits of departed are paid to their families. May the families of departed and all the loved ones find strength to bear the pain of this loss. May God grant our heroes eternal rest. May God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and keep our troops safe. Thank you very much. Remarks by the special guest of honor, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, President Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, very senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. Up next on the program is a reading of the funeral oration of the deceased personnel. It is customary. Right. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, very senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. Up next on the program is the presentation of the national flag to the nest of Cain. At this point, may I invite Lieutenant Colonel I.O. Ueha, the co-master of ceremony, to continue with the proceeding. Thank you, sir. Special guest of honor, 
Next on our program is a presentation of national flag to our next of kings. May I please request our next of kings to please get set for this ceremony. May I also request the commander, Army Headquarters Garrison, to please be on standby for onward presentation of the flags as folded. First, to the Chief of Defense Staff to begin the presentations. May I, at this juncture, most humbly request the Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa, to please make the first set of presentations of the flags to our Enochis. May I request the next of kin to Lieutenant Colonel A.H. E. Ali, Ms. Asamao Husna Abdullahi, to please approach for the presentation. Next of kin to late Lieutenant Colonel A. H. Ali, Miss Asmao Husna Abdullahi. Major DEOB, Master Praise Daniel. Next is to the next of kin of late Major SD Shafa, Mr. Aminu Danjuma Shafa. to the next of kin of late Captain Yu Zachary, warrant of Sir Zachary Halidu retired. of kin of late Staff Sergeant Yahya Saidu, Ms. Faiza Yahya. Next of kin of late Corporal Dambaba Yaya, Miss Husna Dambaba. Bashir, Master Nazifi Bashir. couple Bulus Haruna, Master Jephtha Haruna. May 
I please request the Chief of Defense Staff to please take his seat. Thank you, sir. May I please request the Chief of Defense Staff to kindly please take his seat. May I, at this juncture, humbly request the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T. Lagbaja, to please make the following presentations. The Chief of Army Staff, sir. The next of kin of late Lance Corporal Shole Okwayemi, Mr. Dutun. of late Lance Corporal Abdullah Ibrahim, Master Ibrahim Mustafa, to please approach for the next presentation. Kin to late Lance Corporal Bello Anas, Mr. Bello Liman, to please be on standby for the next presentation. <laughs> Following closely, Master Muhammad Mamman, NOK to late Private Al Haji Isa, to also please follow closely. Master Mohammed Maman. The NOK to late private Haman Peter, Miss Monica Haman, to please approach for the presentation. We are going to carry the hunger. I will keep it from. If I like, I will walk. If I like, I drink. Next is to the next of kin to late private Clement Francis, Miss Augusta, Miss Augustina Francis Wada, Miss Augustina Francis Wada, next of kin to late private Clement Francis. Next of kin to Private Abu Bakar Ali, Master Omar Ali to please approach. Master Omar Ali. Yeah. Uh, the NOK to Private Ad Adamu Ibrahim. Master Ibrahim Adamu, to please approach for the next presentation. The next of kin to late Private Ibrahim Adamu, Master Ibrahim Adamu, to please for the presentation. <laughs> the NOK to late private Ibrahim Adamu. Master Ibrahim Adamu brings us to the end of the presentation of the national flag.
to the yellow keys. Please request the Chief of Army staff to kindly please take his seat. Next on our program is the lowering of the caskets. Your Excellency, very senior officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Next is the lowering of the cas caskets at this point. May I request the clergymen and pale bearers, clergymen and pale bearers, to please take posts at the grave site for the graveside formalities and lowering of the caskets by the pearl bearers. Clergymen, please. Clergymen, pearl bearers. Clergymen and pearl bearers, please take posts for these graveside formalities. Clergymen, Paul, we are asked to please take posts for the graveside ceremony. Paul, we are that is born of a woman has but a short time to live and is full of misery. He comes up and is cut down like a flower. He flees as it were a shadow and never continues in one stay. In the mix of life we are in death. Of whom may we seek succor but of you, O Lord. Yet, O Lord, God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. You know, o Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Close not your merciful ears to our prayers and spare us, most merciful Holy Father. O God, most mighty and holy and merciful Savior, you most worthy judge eternal. Suffer not our last hour to be in pains or to be in the perils of death. We consecrate the graves 
that we will lower the bodies of our beloved brothers, colleagues, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The bodies of our late colleagues are about to be lowered to Mother Earth. The Holy Scripture records from dust we are, and to dust we shall all return. Our departed colleagues have lived very impactful lives. Our families have lived very impactful lives. And they are distinguished gentlemen whose professional conduct is worthy of emulation by us all and the nation is indeed proud of their sacrifices. We love them, but surely God loves them more. May their souls find rest with the Creator. Amen. May I request the family of late Bulus Haruna to... I would like to return just to dust. Yes, that is going to be just one. Okay, just one. The family of late Bulus Haruna to please approach for the dust to dust for the sake of time we shall be making just one burial at peace and then skip to some other parts of this ceremony to enable us finish in due time the family of late Lance Corporal Bullis Haruna to please approach for the dust to dust. The NOK is of late Major DE OB to also please approach the grave site. I'm on Peter. The NOK of late Lance Corporal Select where I to also approach the grave site. The NOK of late Hammond Peter to also please approach the grave site. And the next of kin to late Private Clement Francis to also approach the grave site. Thank you, sir. This is for the dust to dust. So let me tell you to listen.
the end of the next of kings, so called, just perform the dust to dust. As the bodies of our Christian beloved brothers of the Lord. We commit to Mother Af, the body of our brother Bulus Haruna, Af to Af, Ash to Ash, and thus to thus.
distinguished guest, specially invited guest, Sido Sass. Next on our program is the brief name ceremony. May I request the wreath bearers to please take post for the wreath playing ceremony. Wreath bearers, please. The first wreath to be laid here this evening is to be laid by the special guest of honor. His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, our President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency Mr. President. Next to Lay Ritz are the Speaker House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tadu Jimabas, and the Deputy Senate President here representing the Senate President. Also to lay reads at this ceremony are the executive governors by also state His Excellency Dewey Diri, Delta State Right Honorable Elder Sheriff Uberewuri, Kano State His Excellency Engineer Abakabir, His Excellency the Executive Governor of Imo State, his Excellency the Executive Governor of Kogi State, all to marry it simultaneously. May I also request the Executive Governor of Kwara State, who is also here with us, to please join to lay with the Executive Governor of Kwara State, please. Minister of Defense and the Honorable Minister of State for Defense to also please approach and lay reads at this ceremony. The Honorable Minister of Defense and the Honorable Minister of State for Defense to also please lay reads at this ceremony. Let me check. Check. FCT is here. Thank you. May I respectfully request the Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa? The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant T. E. Lakwacha. The Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral E. Ogala. And the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal H. B. Aubakar. To please. SGF. May I please request the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Distinguished Senator George Akume, to kindly please also lay a wreath at this ceremony. Thank you. 
Ford and Chip Buddy Post Thank you. May I humbly request the Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant, T. Labaja, Lieutenant General T. Labaja, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral E. I. Ogala, and the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal H. B. Awakar, to please proceed to lay wreath at this ceremony. Cemetery in Abuja. May I please request uh, the special guest of honor and dignitaries to kindly please take your seats. military personnel, the slain military personnel uh, is uh, taking place. The, uh, the uh, last phase of risk and men of the had to be laid by the next of kings to our dearly of departed colleagues. All the next of kings to approach and lay wreaths at the same time. The next of kings of our dearly departed colleagues to approach and lay wreaths at the gravesite of our departed colleagues. The next of kings to Lieutenant Colonel A.H. Ali, Ms. Asamao Husna Ablai. The next of kin to late Major DEOB, Master Praise Daniel. The next of kin to Major S.D. Shafa, Mr. Aminu Danjuma Shafa. The next of kin to late Captain U. Zachary, Warrant Officer Zachary Khalid retired. The next of kin to late Staff Sergeant Yahaya Saidu, Ms. Faiza Yahaya. The next of kin to late Corporal Dumbaba Yahaya, Ms. Husna Dumbaba. The next of kin to late Corporal Kabiru Bashir, Master Nazifi Bashir. The next of kin to late Lance Corporal Blues Haruna, Master Jephthah Haruna. 
the next of kin to late last corporal Okpaemi, Mr. Dutun, the next of kin to late last corporal Abdullah Ibrahim, Master Ibrahim Mustafa, the next of kin to late last corporal Bello Anas, Mr. Bello Liman, the next of kin to late private Alhaji Isa, Master Mohammed Maman, the next of kin to late private Haman Peter, Miss Monica Haman, the next of kin to late private Clement Francis, Miss Augusta Francis Wada, the next of kin to private Abubakar Ali, Master Omar Ali, the next of kin to late private Adamu Ibrahim, Master Ibrahim Adamu, and the next of kin to late private Ibrahim Adamu, Master Ibrahim Adamu. All the enokis to please lay the wreaths simultaneously at the graveside of our dearly beloved. Your reads, you may please take your seat. Text of kings to please approach the graveside, to please approach the gravesides and lay reads at the graveside. Please lay and take your seats. Please leave. All after laying, you may please take your seats. All after the list are laid, you may please take your seats. The next of kin to Clement leads Clement Francis. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. May their soul rest in peace. May the souls of our dearly departed colleagues find rest with the Creator. Next on our program is the firing of the ceremonial volleys. Your Excellency, specially invited guests, senior officers. Next is the firing of the ceremonial volley. Before I request the burial party to commence with this proceeding, may I once again humbly request that we all please rise as a mark of honor to our departed colleagues. May I also remind officers and warrant officers in uniform to salute at the release of each volley shot. Firing party commander, please carry on.
Next on our program is the reveal. We are requested why we still remain standing. Officers, we want officers in uniform are requested to salute. Please request we please take our seats. The reveille signifies the beginning of new life for our departed dearly beloved colleagues. Next on our program is the vote of thanks. May I request the Chief of Administration Army, Major General OJ Apo, to kindly please deliver the vote of thanks. The Chief of Administration, sir. The special guest of honor, Your Excellency Bolo Ahmed Tinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces Federal Republic of Nigeria. Distinguished guests, families, friends, and associates of deceased heroes, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I am Major General O.J. Akpo, the Chief of Administration Army, and I stand here with a solemn and sorrowful heart to give this vote of thanks on this sad occasion on behalf of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T. A. Lagbaja, officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army. In everything, we give thanks to God Almighty for giving our late heroes a remarkable life of service, heroism, sacrifice, and common bravery. Immense gratitude goes to the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, for your manifest leadership, which is expressed awesomely with your presence today, personally to bid final farewell to our late heroes. We are appreciative of the Nigerian national honors you have bestowed on this our heroes and you have also approved houses for them. 
you have also approved sponsorship for the children of the, the, the deceased heroes. We are most grateful. Thank you most sincerely, the President of the Senate, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Secretary to, to the Federal Government of Nigeria, Ministers, Executive Governors of Bayesa Delta, Kano, Kuala, Kogi, and Imo States, for all your support you have given to the families of the bereaved and for your solidarity. We can feel your solidarity, moral and financial support to the families of the deceased. These will surely provide succor. To the Chief of Defense Staff, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Naval Staff, and the Chief of Air Staff, thank you for facilitating a befitting barrier for our heroes. And for the Chief of Air Staff, I want to thank you especially for providing the airlift for the bodies from Port Harcourt to Abuja. To all our distinguished mourners, President of the Depoa, Nawa, and other associations here present, thank you for being pillars of support, especially at this time of grief. To principal staff officers at the Defense and Services Headquarters and the Army Headquarters, we thank you for attending and for showing unwavering support during this period. To the families, friends, and associates of our fallen heroes, we will continue to express our deepest condolences. May God Almighty comfort all of us with his infinite mercies. To all our distinguished personalities here present, we thank you for your presence, prayers, and solidarity. As we have laid our beloved heroes to rest, let us remember their courage, valor, and selflessness. I wish you all a safe journey as we disperse from this venue. We thank God. We, we I, I, I thank God for all of you for your presence, and may God bless you as you depart from here. Thank you, and may God bless. That was the vote of thanks by the Chief of Administration, Major General O.J. Apo. We shall draw the curtains on this solemn ceremony with the national anthem. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, distinguished and specially invited guests, very senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, please shall we rise for the national anthem. We are a reminder of us and warrant of us in uniform to please salute. The band, please, the national anthem.